Speaker, my question today is to the Minister for Education. Schools on Brisbane's west side are desperately overcrowded. There are now demountables on the Oval at Tawong, bursting classrooms and waiting lists for after-school care at Ironside, Indrapilly and others. Will the government's options analysis for the inner west investigate urgently securing a site for a new school before the end of this school year? I call the Minister for Education. I thank the member for the question. I know he does have a very keen interest in education, as we all do on this side of the House. I would love to have seen more money in the federal budget so we could have done all of the things that we want to do. As I said earlier, Mr. As I said earlier, Speaker, there's not a member in this House that doesn't come and see me about some sort of education funding and spending in their electorate. Every single one of them have got their hand out. Unfortunately, um, Speaker, the federal government failed to hand out any additional money for Queensland. But I'm taking on your issues in the inner west. The department is well aware, Speaker, that, um, that there is um, you know, a growth in the inner city. We are investing in our Better Schools Fund, $800 million. We have done a series of master planning in around 30 odd schools in the inner city. This is all part of how do we provide the, the classrooms, how do we provide the educational facilities for those schools in the area, and as well as that, everything is on the table, including new schools in the area. But as we know, in the, um, in the inner city, it's very hard to acquire the necessary land to um, make sure that we have the space for new schools. Those issues are all on the table, I can assure the member for Maywa, and we are looking very closely at delivering a world-class education, not only for students in the inner city, but for students right throughout um, Queensland. But we can't do it alone. $30 million, $200,000 for um, a federal electorate where the member for Maywa is, isn't going to cut the mustard. It isn't going to do even deliver a playground. It isn't, go in, it isn't going to even deliver a refurbished library in a lot of these schools. It's a cruel hoax and a cruel joke. This state is investing over $1 billion in infrastructure in this state this financial year, and um, we are spending that money where it is needed the most, in the inner city areas, in the regions, and and in all the electorates of those opposite, I take the interjection from the, from the um, Leader of the Opposition, don't come in here complaining about um, school funding in the electorates at that, from those opposite, because there are tens of millions of dollars going into every one of the electorates of those opposite and on this side of the House as well. Order. I can assure the member for Maywa that, yeah, New Hall and Kingaroy, they called it KPAC. Speaker. That's how gorgeous it was. And the, member, the, uh, the Leader of the Opposition was there cutting the ribbon with me, loving every minute of Labor Leader of the Opposition. In electorates, as we do in all the rest. But I can assure the member for Maywa that the department is very keenly aware of the situation in the inner city suburbs. I can assure the member for Maywa that we are investing in the research needed to deliver a fantastic education, not only to those students in the gallery, but to every student throughout Queensland. Yeah.